Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're gonna do a little uh, video on how to pour a little small concrete sidewalk extension. So let's get on out here and show you how we get this done. Let's go. Some of the materials that you may need for this project is some bags of concrete mix, some rebar, and some one by fours just to make your forms up. Okay folks, I've already taken marking paint and laid out the general area that I want my little pad of concrete to go. This is gonna make life a lot easier for us when we're going through our gate here, because sometimes we have to step in the mud here, and I wanna go and pour a little pad of concrete. So we've got it marked off, and we're gonna start digging. Now that we've taken our sharpshooter and dug down about four inches all the way down our line that we marked, we're gonna take our spade shovel and the sharpshooter in combination, and we're gonna dig down and take out about four inches of dirt here in this whole area. So let's get that done. Now with all of the um, dirt removed from the area, we're about four inches deep all the way around. We're gonna use this piece of edging right here. This is like landscaping edging. And uh, my dad had a piece of it down at his house. We're gonna cut this end off down here square. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to use this to make our um, form for this concrete. Okay guys, back in the shop here, I'm gonna use the cutoff wheel. I've already made me a mark here. I wanna cut this little end here off square. Always make sure you got your safety glasses on when cutting metal or wood. Let's get started. Okay guys, now we've got our form in place. That was pretty easy to do. All we had to do is square up this end here like I showed you. We held it in there, put it up against the uh, outside of the part where we cut out, marked it, cut our other end, put it in place, drove down the stakes that were there. Now we're just going back with a level, checking to make sure, because we want the water to run this away, down our sidewalk, down our driveway. We don't want this to stand in water. So we're just double checking in a couple areas. Looks like we're dead on the money. We're gonna definitely uh, have a slope to where it runs downhill. So we're good to go. We're ready to start putting down some rebar, at least getting it cut. Okay, what I've done here, I've got a couple, I've got four pieces of rebar. I'm just gonna kind of lay them in here right now just to kind of fit them like I want. We're not gonna put them in yet. We wanna pour a couple inches of concrete first, then lay our rebar in there, then lay a couple inches of concrete on top of it. I'm just kind of making a couple marks here. I'm gonna go in here with my cutoff wheel. And this stuff bends really easy. See, I just laid that in there, just kind of bend it around. And I'm gonna go cut a couple of these pieces in half and we'll lay them in here this way. And then once we start pouring the concrete, we'll lay them in there for final. They'll be in there for good, right in the middle of our pad. And this rebar cuts easy with a cutoff wheel as well. So here we go. Okay guys, there's the rebar kind of cut and fitted in place. We'll take all that out of there now. We'll start mixing up some concrete and get a couple inches poured in there. Okay guys, mixing up some concrete here. We got uh, two 80 pound bags in here, three and a half quarts of water per bag. And recommendation is always pour as much of your concrete up toward this end as you can. Pour your water down here, start mixing it on this end so you get all the way to the bottom each time. And just kind of pull from here as you need more. So we're gonna get this mixed up guys. Okay guys, we're getting ready to pour this concrete in here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna take some old motor oil here, an old scrap rag, just a little piece of blue jean. Pour a little bit of that on this uh, rag. And I wanna wipe down my form really good. This is gonna help for the form to come out easy when we're done. Okay guys, we about got this uh, mixed up. We had to add a little bit more water than they recommended on the bag. So be aware of that, you might have to add a little bit more than what they tell you. Just don't get it too soupy. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and pour this on in. Okay guys, we're just going to take a, a flat trial here. Kind of move this stuff around. Get it even and then we'll lay our rebar in place. 
Okay guys, once we work that around, got it kind of laying in there good, we're just going to lay our rebar in place. And then we're going to get busy with the fun part again of mixing up concrete. Tell you what boys, you're going to get a workout today. I know I am. If you do this project. Okay guys, we got about four bags in there. I've done lost count. Anyway, we got a couple more bags and uh, I'm gonna run back and get a couple more just to make sure I don't run out. We floated it out. Looks like we still got about an inch and a half to go to get up to the top of the level. We're gonna keep on working. Okay guys, we got this thing finally filled in. We had to go back and get some more uh, concrete and it was a little bit different color. So we had to uh, scoop up a little bit of what we already had laid down and mix it back in with our last little batch here because I was afraid it'd be too big of a difference in color. Now what I'm doing here is just taking a, a one before and I'm screeting across here and you can see we're a little high right here. So we're just gonna keep working it back and forth until we get the whole thing pretty level, knocked down. And then we'll hand trial most of this right here before we let it set up a little bit. And then I'll show you what we do as a final step on this thing. Okay guys, we got about the right amount that we want on here. And I'm just gonna kinda go over it. One last little float, kinda float it one last time here. And shoot's looking pretty good like we got it here. We're gonna let it sit for a while. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back in and we'll take a broom and do a brush finish on it where it'd be definitely like a non-slick finish, kind of like the other sidewalks here are done. And then we'll uh, put some little radiuses on our uh, edges to keep them from cracking. And then we'll call this project done, guys. All right, guys, we're losing daylight today, but uh, we've uh, took a little time, about 30, 30 minutes or so ago, cleaned up all our tools and stuff, the wheelbarrows, the shovels, and the hoe and everything. We've got our little rounding gauge here that we're gonna come around all the whole perimeter of it and try to put a little rounded nose on it. And that'll help keep uh, cracks from coming on the uh, edges. So we're just gonna go around this whole perimeter. It may be a little soon to do this, but we'll go ahead and try it anyway since we're losing daylight. Okay, folks, we're gonna go ahead. We've already brushed it once. I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, this gate's in my way here. All right, and one more little, I'm gonna shake off the excess here. One more little swipe. All right. All right, guys. Now we've got a little textured finish on there, so nobody will uh, slip on it as we're walking out. And just a few more minutes, I'll go right. I'll go right around that that back edge one more time with the little uh, edge trial, and we'll call this project finished for this evening. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this job up for today and wrap this video up too. Here's our finished product: a broom swept finish on it, nice and textured. We ran, went around the edges um, with our little tool. And I may mess around here in another 30 minutes or something, go around one more time. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching our video today. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, one more quick thing, uh, shout out to my dad. He actually offered to let me borrow his uh, cement mixer today. And I was stupid by saying no. Okay, so let me just give you guys a tip. If someone offers to let you borrow a cement mixer so you don't have to uh, mix it all by hand, don't be stupid like me. Borrow that mixer, all right? Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care. All right, guys, it's day two. I decided to add a little extra something to this video. I wanted to bring you out here and show you what it's looking like today. And, uh,. Still needs a little time to cure up and everything. I think, I think it turned out pretty good. What we did this morning, I come out early this morning, I thought the texture of it looked a little too rough. So what I did is I took a damp grout sponge and just kind of lightly went over it. 
to kind of make it match the texture of my current sidewalk here. And it also actually done something else to make it look a little older. It actually has exposed a little bit of the rock in the um, uh, concrete as well. And that's definitely going to make it match up better with this 40 year old concrete sidewalk here. So uh, I think we're going to have a pretty close match as soon as it uh, cures out. And so there you go, friends. Just a little extra tip there toward the end. Uh, I wanted to show you what it looked like the next day and tell you that little extra thing I've done with it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, leave us a comment and a like. And we'll see you next time. Take care.